The holidays have arrived at Disney's California Adventure, so let's take a look at that. Hi everyone, it's Ket from the Mouse Scout, and today we're going to take a look at Disney's California Adventure's Festival of the Holidays. They've got food, merchandise, decorations, and entertainment. There is a ton of really cute merchandise this year, which I love. And we actually did a video just on that alone, so I'll link it down below. Be sure to check it out. During this time of year, there's a very special visitor that drops by the Redwood Creek Challenge Trail. It's St. Nick, and it's a great time to meet him and get your picture taken with him. And it's also a great time to explore this area of the park because it's all decked out for the holidays.
The Festival of the Holidays also includes live entertainment that's scattered throughout the park, celebrating everything from Christmas and Kwanzaa to Diwali. Spanning from Carthay Circle to Paradise Gardens Park is the Festival Foods Marketplace. There are eight kiosks with holiday comfort dishes that span cultures and family traditions from around the globe. At Brews and Bites, it features chorizo queso fundido with house-made tortilla chips, beer flights, and beer by the glass. We tried the chorizo queso fundido, and it was fun. It was actually really good, it was tasty. The cheese stayed liquidy even when it cooled, so it was really delicious. The Favorite Things kiosk features glazed ham shanks with honey crumble, holiday stuffing mac and cheese, gingerbread Mickey cookie, warm bourbon cider with house-made bourbon-infused marshmallows, and beer by the glass. At Holiday Duets, you can get braised pork belly, shrimp and grits, Mickey and Minnie cookies, cranberry sangria, and churro toffee cold brew. We tried the shrimp and grits and the pork belly, and I personally preferred the pork belly. It was really tender, it just melted in your mouth. And the shrimp and grits were okay, they were just nothing special to write home about. At Making Spirits Bright, you can get a caramelized apple cake, hot cocoa, white and red wine flights, sparkling wine, and a mimosa flight. The Merry Mashups booth features turkey and stuffing tamales, pork al pastor non taco, a churro yule log, a house made horchata, and a habanero hibiscus margarita. Grandma's Recipes has a shepherd's upside down pie, curried cauliflower and chicken with black garlic, crimson pear beer cocktail, and Navidad punch. Winter Slider Land has a fried turkey slider, a beef pot roast slider, warm peppermint chocolate float, and a bourbon cranberry cocktail. We tried the fried turkey slider with cranberry slaw and it was just okay. It was really kind of dry. I didn't care for it. However, the beef pot roast slider was really delicious. It had horseradish cream sauce and the meat was nice and tender. A twist on tradition features reimagined beef wellington, Reuben potato tots with Russian dressing, vanilla pear mule, and red and white wine. Everything looks really yummy and it can get quite expensive to buy everything you want, so I highly recommend getting the Sip and Savor Pass. It's $56 and has eight prepaid food and drink vouchers, which comes out to about $7 for each dish. And keep in mind, it does not cover alcohol. We didn't get to try everything we wanted to, but we will be back because we've got three more tickets on our Sip and Savor Pass, and I've got my eye on that caramelized apple cake. Over in Cars Land, they've also decorated for the holidays, and they've used some very clever items to do so.
Well, I hope you've enjoyed our look at all the beautiful decorations and festivities at California Adventure. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your Disney friends. And remember to subscribe because we will continue to explore what makes Disney so magical. Until next time, have a wonderful week. And remember, it's all just designed for fun.